Okay, so you guys start Brownstone Productions. The first big movie you guys produce is Surrogates. Yeah. Will you guys talk a little bit about that? Kind of what are the lessons learned from that experience? Yeah, I mean, you know, Surrogates, <laughs> real quickly, was based on, on a graphic novel that I found uh, written by Rob Venditti um, for a small indie comic company called Top Shelf Comics. And when um, we first started doing this, I very quickly came to the realization that spending time trying to get a DC property or a Marvel property was preposterous. So um, I looked. I was looking for a lot of these indie, independent comic um, titles, and that's how I arrived at Surrogates. It's an incredible graphic novel, um, and it all came together very, very quickly. I, I, you know, based on relationships, we took the comic to. Um, uh, this company called Mandeville Productions, which is run by David Hoberman and Todd Lieberman. Todd Lieberman and I are friends from college, and um, it just was one of those perfect storms where the you know script came together very quickly. Bruce Willis came on very quickly, um, and the film. Ha I think from the from the moment we set set the property up at Disney to uh, a start date might have been 16 months or something. It was really fast. And uh, you know, I think the, the main lesson I just took from it is at the studio level, I don't know if you would disagree, but um, it's, momentum is such a critical, critical piece in understanding how momentum works and, and the rhythm of it. And when, you know, when a project is, is you're, in a, you're in more of a holding pattern from development versus there's times when it's just like the stars are aligning, we gotta go, let's go, and let's everyone, get everyone on board. And, from a, a, as a producer, just being able to project that excitement and confidence and leadership um, is a very valuable uh, skill. I happen to have the fantastic opportunity to watch Mandeville really do that. Um, they're very good at, at that. Todd and David are just A, great guys, B, very smart, and just have an ability to, you know, seize momentum and will projects into production. So that was, that was like a very, key learning experience for, for us. Yeah, they really mentored us through that process. And um, you know, I think it was also the first time that we, uh, Max mentioned Rob Venditti, who was the author of the comic. And one of the things that I really love about producing is you know, we get to, we get to um, work with people, uh, whether Rob is a great example, Mickey Rapkin, who um, wrote Pitch Perfect, this little book that we made Pitch Perfect out of. Um, you know, and, and we get to, I don't, I don't know that we changed their lives, but I don't think they were thinking like, let's make a big movie out of my graphic novel. And we, I really love the personal connection to this guy who was literally working at a comic book shop in Atlanta. And we call him and say, we're, we think we could make this into a movie, will you let us? And he goes, I mean, yeah, no one else is calling me. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then we call him back a little while later and say, so we're, we set it up, it's gonna be a Disney movie. And he's like, what? And then we call him back and say, come hang out with Bruce Willis. I mean, it's amazing. Yeah. And I, I, I really loved that, that part of it. That, that hooked me as a producer. 